Good afternoon, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, and we're fixing to trike on my electric trike from electrictrike.com. This is a Liberty trike, electric trike from libertytrike.com. Got that in. Anyway, and we're fixing to trike the butterfly area at Falcon Lake State Park, Texas, right on the border of Texas and, and Mexico. So let's do it. And I'm using my Pixel 3a because I found out the microphone worked. Actually, there's two settings for the microphone nobody ever told me about, but enough said about that. So we're going to do it. This is the butterfly garden. But anyway, it's got all kind of plants and stuff, and they have a little description for each one of them. So let's, let me turn the power down a little bit here, get it on power level three. Okay, let's go. And this plant right here, I can't read the name of any of them, fortunately, but that is a plant of some kind. <laughs> and let's go. There's all kind of plants and trees in here. There's a little map over here that has some info on it. Yeah, if, the, if all these signs are so sunburned that there's all the reading is gone. But this is okay. This is, it says, it says, a special place for butterflies. A butterfly's eye view. The native plants you see in this garden have been selected and arranged to attract, shelter, and sustain many of the hundreds of butterfly species found in this area. When planting a butterfly garden, it is important to plant a bunch of the same flowers together so butterflies can see the splash of color from the air. Butterflies have amazing color and ultraviolet vision and may have the widest visual range of any animal. Hmm, I thought they were an insect. But anyway, having said that, that's that and the, the butterfly cycle of life yeah the, have you ever seen one come out of a cocoon yeah they form a cocoon and then that they, it just fall you go it goes from an ugly caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly when metamorphosis is complete so we're just going to cruise around here and uh, you're just going to look because i can't really tell you anything but let me tell you something else great about this liberty trike that i'm on the width of the rear wheels is about 26 inches or so so it's the same width as your shoulders almost and arms if you were walking straight forward. So you can go down any path that anybody can walk on, like a sidewalk. You can go into grocery stores on this thing. But this is the butterfly garden. And, you know, they got a lot of nice looking trees and stuff. And they, they work at this thing. But, but unfortunately, all the signs are so sunburnt that you can't read them. And they haven't revived them in a while, apparently. But we'll go through this right here, I know, because I asked. That is a Spanish olive tree. It actually has olives on it sometimes of the year. And I've actually found some. Did I eat them? No. Uh, I guess you could, though. I think you could. What would happen to you after you ate them? I, that's another question. But so this is the little trail, and these are the plants. And I apologize for not being able to give you a description of any of them, but... This is, now this is another one of the olive trees right here. This is a Spanish olive tree. Are there any olives on it, Rusty? I don't see any. I don't. There's some more, they got a lot of those Spanish, I guess those things must put out a nice bloom to attract the uh, butterflies. And here's another one. This is the Spanish olive. They got a lot of olive. They got a, olive garden here and we're going around but see the trail here you got a nice little con I mean not concrete gravel trail that's really smooth and all that stuff so for you guys that just wanted to take a leisurely walk through a virtual jungle uh, you could I'm not sure when the uh, butterflies come here I actually think it's uh, in late fall and maybe we missed it can't believe it but it's possible and I won't let the, we'll turn this way. There's a wide trail here, but we're going right in the sun. And then I'll turn out of it. I wish I could read these signs, guys, but really there's nothing there. The, all the writing is burned off by the sun. They need to replace their signs. But they do water and maintain it. I've seen people in here raking and cutting and stuff. Now this right here, I believe, is called a barrel cactus. And those thorns on that thing will probably blow out a truck tire you know and that's just a regular old prickly pear cactus and uh, some of these other things i can't think of the name of right now 
beautiful day here in uh, Falcon Lake, Texas right now. This is February the 17th, I think, and it's uh, about 90 degrees, believe it or not, February the 17th, 2020. Uh, this here, right here, this is called Decleptor, Decleptera, those little plants there, whatever that is, Decleptera, or that's a Decleptera, I'm not sure, whatever Decleptera is, that's one of them, for you, ex for you plant experts. So we'll zig on around here, and uh, since I, this is a Texas Lantana right here. That's a Texas Lantana. Now that's something. And then we'll go on around here some more, kind of zoom on along here. And for those of you plant lovers and tree lovers that know the names of these things, well, you'll be able to pick them out and say, well, that's a whatchamacallit, and this is a witch whatchamacallit. And to me, they're just plants and trees. So let's go down here, and we can go out on the other side here. There's an exit. Let's see if I can read this one right here. Uh, it's a wild something, wild lime. This is called a wild lime. Okay, you know, if you knew uh, a lot about plants, you could probably survive anywhere pretty good. And, and animals too, actually. So now I'm gonna see if I can get out of this mess I got into and, and end this video because this thing's shooting in 1080p, which will take about two years to upload. Some of y'all be, so, oh, here's one right here. This is called a brush holly, a, a close-up of that. That's right beside me. That is a brush holly for all of you people. And this one up here, see if it's, it doesn't, maybe I can read the name, nope. Uh, this is a, Jesus Christ, it is a sugar hackberry. I guess that's this thing right here. Because right beside it is another Mexican olive thing. So let me get up here and we'll end the video. But yeah, we are at Falcon Lake State Park in Texas on a nice warm winter day. Believe me, it's February the 17th, 2020, and it's 92 degrees. Unbelievable. But yeah, and that's the road that goes right out of the park where that orange building is, or whatever that color is, kind of a peach colored building is up there on the hill. See it? I'll, show, I'll zoom a little bit. See it right here? That's the entrance place where you pay your fees and stuff and then come right on in. Okay, let's go back out thing. Zoom out now, thank, thank you. But anyway, thumbs up, guys, if I can find the camera here. Woo, there it is. Thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Uh, doesn't cost you a penny. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, exercise, you know, twice a day or whatever, and take deep breaths to lower your blood pressure, you know what I mean. And, you know, stand guard at the door of your mind. Enjoy your life the best you can. You know, I'm out here triking. What are y'all doing? Anyway, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm doing my thing. Y'all are doing yours, and that's life. So, adios, amigos. Where's my finger? Right there. Boom. Adios, guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye.